All right, really quickly, it's June 1st, Apex withdrawal window is open, so I wanna jump on here and talk about a quick topic. Beautiful day out, chilling out here in my car. Unfortunately, I don't have a charger, and my phone is only at 10%, I just got out of the gym, and I'm um, just chilling out here. So let's talk about a very sensitive topic, which is how much cushion should you leave yourself in your Apex accounts for your first few withdrawals? Apex is different than other firms because Apex doesn't require you to leave a safety net. You could actually take out the safety net from your account from the first withdrawal. So in my case, I was able to take out $2,000 per account. That money hasn't cleared yet, but it's going to. And I only made $2,600 per account. I had $4,000. I lost $1,400 off the top of those accounts. And now I am up only $2,600. So when the account is cleared from the 2K withdrawal, I'm only going to have $500 or $600 worth of cushion per account. Now, that is a very difficult hole to climb out of. I'm aware of that. I've done it in the past with my TikTok Direct account where the maximum loss per day was $500 and I was able to make money that way when the market was a little bit less volatile than it is now in May, early May. But I'm still going to try my best. But why did I decide to take out the maximum and not the minimum or anything in between? Because the minimum payout now is $500 from Apex. So I could have just taken out $500 and still still leave myself a decent $2,000 cushion for the next withdrawal uh, end of June. It's not a bad idea, but I'm going to share with you guys why I think it's better to take out the maximum guaranteed money from each account. So when you're starting out and maybe you're not super consistent yet, you've been through ups and downs, you know how difficult trading really is. Trading is difficult at all stages. Once you are very profitable and still good, trading is difficult. There's, it never becomes easy. It might get easier, but it's because you are more comfortable with taking losses and whatnot and you don't spiral down and you control your emotions better. Trading is all mental and maybe 10% actual technical analysis because buying and selling let's say you buy a contract of nasdaq you have 50 50 chance of making money so how can we lose 99 percent of the time or why do 99 percent of traders actually lose money it should be 50 50 right but then the mental game comes in and we end up losing more often than not because we add to losers we don't add to winners we hold losers we don't hold winners and that's where the whole game becomes very skewed to the losing side um so going back to trading being very difficult is exactly why I want to take out the guaranteed money. In May, I had the TikTok Direct account and I was able to take three withdrawals with it for a total of $1,900. And it was definitely worth it because I ended up losing that account. I had four or five max losses in a row when the market conditions changed from range days to very volatile uh, trending days. And I, you know, I took out the two grand from those accounts or from that account. And then I was able to pay for my future accounts from, from all the accounts that I have now with Apex, which I have two funded accounts. I also passed five more evaluations, which are going to be active next week. The TikTok Direct account paid for those. So it's all houses money now. And now the 4K also is going to pay for future accounts. So if I want to get more accounts later on, now it's all houses money. I have to. I don't have to add any of my own hard money into the market or into the accounts. It's all from the futures profits. And that's what it comes down to. You want to slowly build your cushion. You want to slowly build the army of accounts. And that's how you become profitable faster than trying to go for a Hail Mary, uh, 20 accounts at once and trade them all at once and try to get a withdrawal from them and keep a cushion and all this different things that people try to do uh, because if it's possible, if it's, if it's done, it's really nice, but it's very difficult. So start with the small steps and take the maximum payout. In my opinion, that's the best way to go because again, now it's all houses money. I've been humbled by the market. I know how things could change so fast. You know, you could be doing really well, but then one day you become stubborn. One day things don't go well. You start revenge trading, you go on tilt and you lose the cushions or you lose those accounts, period. And the last thing you want to do is have a nice cushion or be able to take a withdrawal, but you don't, or you just take $500 instead of 2000 and then you ended up losing that account. You know, it's you set yourself back mentally so much more than getting yourself the maximum payout, and then if I lose those accounts, it's whatever, because I paid $140 per account, and I took out 2K from, from those accounts, you know? So it's, uh, it's definitely worth it, and uh, in my opinion, is that you should take out the maximum and leave yourself the minimum cushion. Now, if you could keep trading 
and you make more then it's a different story but if you get stuck at that $2,600 which is the minimum then take out the maximum amount and leave yourself the minimum cushion but if you can grow it in the first month to let's say $5,000 or $4,000 and then you take out the $2,000 and you leave yourself a cushion God bless you that's better for you of course but at the same time if you go past the $2,600 let's say you're at $3,000 you're at $4,000 do not blow that account. Whatever you do, stop yourself at $2,600 and you'll thank me later because it's very, again, mental to, uh, and very difficult mentally to come get over the losses. Now you wanna get back to the highs of that account and now, you know, things go wrong again, you lose another trade and then you end up revenge trading and it all goes downhill really, really, really fast. And we've all been there, whether it's with evaluations accounts, whether it's with uh, funded accounts or even with stocks and whatnot. I've been around for a long time. I know people go through these cycles. I've been there. I've been humbled. My ego is very, very low with these accounts and um, I want to take the guaranteed money and I don't count the money from these firms until I get the payout. So making money in valuations, you might be excited, but don't be. Um, you have to keep your emotions neutral. So whether you're winning or losing, you want to keep them as neutral as possible. A lot of people, especially on that Apex Facebook group, I mean, they get so excited, you know, having a green day on evaluation or a green day on the funded account. It's good, but at the same time, when you are excited about a green day, you are going to be five times or 10 times more pissed about a red day. And that means you're not going to stop trading and you're going to revenge trade, try to get back to break even. And it all goes downhill so fast. And it's again, just a very, very tough mental game. And uh, I recommend a book called Best Loser Wins. I recommend Oliver Velas on YouTube. I recommend Tom Hugard or Trader Tom on YouTube as well. And they talk about psycholo uh, psychological issues in the same in the same way where as traders, we again love to add to losers. We don't add to winners. We want to take the profits as soon as possible because it's really painful for us to have unrealized profit and then see that profit disappear. And the same thing goes to the trailing drawdown. So let's say you're up $1,000 in a day and then you take a small loss on the day you are now pissed because you are still up on that day but the trailing drawdown is is moved down you lost some of the trailing drawdown you know the threshold and and then you want to keep trading because you know you lost 200 dollars on top of the account and now it all could just go south so it's very difficult everyone takes losses differently but if we could build into the the, the concept of being comfortable with losing always losing a very similar amount per trade and adding to winners. I was able to pass one of my evaluations yesterday, one single trade by adding to winners. So I risked, I think it was like $300. So it was like 15 points on one contract. Then I was up 20 points. I added to that position. Then I went up another 20 points. I added to that position. So I never risked more than $300 on that trade. And I was up over $4,000 on that single trade. I ended up selling some and I ended up losing a little bit of cushion and I sold it when I needed to sell it to pass the evaluation, which was $3,000 of profit. I sold it like $3,200 of profit. So in just one trade, um, I did it. I know it's more difficult on funded accounts, but in evaluations, it's not. It's also not a gamble trade. It was a good setup. I really wanted to build that way and I really want to keep doing that moving forward. I really will try to scalp on some accounts, but then hold for bigger wins on the other accounts and get comfortable with losing. And it's going to be happening a lot more often when you try to hold for winners that, you know, your unrealized profit of two, three, four hundred dollars profit is going to be minimized or it's still gonna lose or gonna be go to break even. But when you win, you might win quite a lot and just few of those days a month and the month grows into, you know, eight, 10, $15,000 a month. And then you combine that with five, six, seven accounts and you could just see the math and how quickly you could build cushion. But again, we wanna start small, get a few payouts. My goal is to maybe get myself another 6K at the end of June, because I'm gonna have seven total accounts. So maybe if I could get another payout from three accounts, end of June, that will give me another 6K, that will be a 10K month. And you guys see where I'm going with this. It's Now it's completely houses money. To lose 10K, or 12K total when I combine it with the TikTok -tick account over these evaluations, that's a long, long time. Um, you would have to blow accounts, you would have to blow PA accounts, 
and you just pace yourself and grow an army and it's going to last you for a long time once you take out let's say 10 grand and once you take out those six to ten grand then you could build a cushion on those accounts and don't take out more than you need let's say if it's 500 minimum take out 500 500 500 for three months and then take out the rest at the end of three months when you could take out the 100 percent of the, the whatever amount you have in the account and that is the same concept you know um, don't leave too much cushion because you could lose it at the end of three months if you could if you have 30k cushion take out 25k and leave yourself just 5k cushion and restart and rebuild that account but anyway guys it's already 10 minutes my battery is about to die so i want to post this leave a comment down below if you were able to take a withdrawal with apex and uh hit the like hit the subscribe and more content coming soon i don't want to put too much content out there about evaluations because evaluations are very skewy I, you guys know i lost a few evaluations last week so posting that i passed an evaluation is just useless in my opinion